Welcome back to the channel. My name is Frank and let's get right into this episode. Last episode, Jesus Fabianski, the youngster, made his debut in the Champions Trophy for Napoli FC. In this one, we will be playing the first matches of his career in Serie A. Hold on to your seats. Let's get right into this episode. All right, I'm ready. Let's get down to it. I'm going to do some quick training drills and I think I'll see everybody out there on the pitch when it's time to kick this ball around for the first time in the Serie A. Now, I'm not sure exactly what you guys want to see from the format of these videos. Do you just want to see highlights from a lot of games collectively in one? Let me know down below and I'll make sure to make those changes for everybody in the comment section. But here we go, it's Jesus Fabianski, it's that time. The starting men now with the position on the pitch. And let's take a quick look at the starting lineup. We're gonna have a horrible keeper in the net, Contini. I'm not too sure about his skills, but let's see exactly what the right back has to offer. Di Lorenzo and Gabriel on the right side. We look good to go defensively. Nathan and Oliveira on the left side though, a bit weaker but hopefully we will not have any issues coming off that left flank. We got Zelensky, the Capitan in the middle, Zambo Agisa at the CDM, Labotka at the other CM, and Osim Han and Trore on the left wing. I'm ready. Jesus Fabianski is with a huge team right now, Napoli FC. Maybe not the team that everybody thought I was going to go to, but it is the team that I had to go to. We're at Stadion Nader, and it is that time. I will be going to Italy in July, so let me know. What are some of the most beautiful places that you've been to outside of the United States? If you are from the U.S., let me know down below. But if you're from outside of the U.S., let me know still the nicest place you've ever been outside of your country. Labotska already making a good move and a beautiful pass. Looking for Osim Han. Already starting off in this match. Looking for a quick one through his legs. Nutmeg. Looking for the shot, but no luck. This one's going to be a good match for sure. Looking for the pass outside. Jesus Fabianski running on the ball. Looking to make a play now. Good step over move. Losing his man, maybe. Just not enough skills right now on that ball to make those big plays. All right, hopefully we can get this victory. The ball in the air now. Natan gets a good touch to Jesus Fabianski. Running in the middle, looking for Osimhen. Good pass. Another one to Osimhen has to be. Good play, good through ball, maybe, and a good touch. Fabianski looking for the goal. First one of his career, and there it is. First one in the back of the net for Jesus Fabianski. He's way too cool on it. Knows exactly how to strike the ball with that left foot, of course. Not the most skill, but he's able to run with that pace. Allowing himself just to have the ball run in front of him. And he finishes right through the back of the net with that wonder class left foot. Keeper had no idea where he was going to go with it. And a great finish to start this match off for Jesus Fabianski. Look at him. The youngster. Only 18 years young, scoring goals for an Italian top side. Good pass inside, and Gabriella with another clearance. That man right there is our greatest defender. Possibly our best one to ever come through Napoli this season. All right, first half in the books, and Jesus Fabianski already has one on the tally. Stay tuned to see how he performs in the second half. Looking for a move, and there it is. Good touch. Pass outside, Osimhen. Jesus Fabianski looking for the back post cross. Beautifully played in. Oh, and just getting to his head but not enough power on it or accuracy. I thought he was gonna have a better look at that shot, but we have to play with what we got. Good touch now, looking for the pass. Good one inside, OC man. No luck. Good touch, keep moving it. There we go, Di Lorenzo. Beautiful play. La Botka, OC man, looking for my second goal. Oh, and a keeper just getting a hand on it, almost curling it in to that near side post. I really had to get that one, and it looks like it will be a goal kick instead. Getting flashy. Di Lorenzo on the ball. Jesus Fabianski with it. Give him a fake. Good movement, good movement. Use that pace, use that pace. And there he goes. Jesus Fabianski in the attack. Looking for something to happen now. Looking for a pass inside. Slots it back. Ah, but no luck. Just not good enough. I got to get my passing stats up. It's my next upgrade for sure. And Napoli looking to make a play. Chedera breaks it down, but a beautiful touch. And now Jesus Fabianski breaks his man down. Looking to make something happen. A good ball roll. Loses it though to Valerie. Good pass inside. Moving it around now. Good touch. Labotska. Jesus Fabianski looking for the goal, but a pass. Lots it back. And a beautiful shot. Oh, but no luck. Tarati 
in net right now is playing on his P's and Q's chart. Looking for a cross into the box and maybe a goal. Hitting that pack back post. Looking for it. No luck. Ball in. Looking for the pass now. I think my mic might be a bit delayed. So I apologize for that. Bit of a lag spike kind of messed me up. And let's see if we can keep working now. Good pass. Jesus Fabianski. Looking for the move inside. It has to be. One more. One more, OC men. Pop it up. What a pass. What a finish. Oh, no luck. Good touch. And that is the end of this match in the books. 1-0 for the first time in his career. Jesus Fabianski with the only goal today. And that's exactly what you need to expect from a youngster that looks to become the greatest of all time. Just want to say thank you for tuning into this first match. And I'll see everybody after this one. I had to come in between the intermission. I want to start doing this a lot more often. Here he goes, the new hero. And I apologize for the audio in the back. Nobody knows how to cut it off. There we go. <laughs> Perfect timing. New hero, Jesus Fabianski grabs the headlines. It may have taken Jesus Fabianski a little while to really make his mark at the club. But today, felt like the reward for all the hard work. As he scored a goal to cap his man of the match performance, Jesus Fabianski left the pitch at full time with the sounds of the crowd chanting his name, ringing in his ears. The supporters were unbelievable, he admitted afterwards. I love this club too, so they know how much this means to me. A pretty emotional day. I didn't mention this, but Jesus Fabianski, his favorite club growing up was Napoli. Seeing Victor Osimhen now on the team, he knows his talents will be a perfect link up with his teammates. Hopefully going forward, we can keep picking up victories and I'll see everybody in our next match, the second one in Serie A. Another night, another amazing opportunity for Jesus Fabianski. You know me, I'm looking for that 10 rating every time we step on a pitch. Hopefully we'll accomplish that goal tonight. We're facing off against Sassuolo, a team that I'm not familiar with. But let me know down below if this is your favorite team. Hopefully it's a good match, back and forth, but I would not mind a dominant victory as well. So hopefully we can get in there and a good defensive play already. Zelensky, Ozimhen, I'm running on this right wing. Gotta go outside, gotta go outside, here we go. Good touch, nice pass, Ozimhen. Oh, beautiful, beautiful finish. Oh, muffed it. Oh, bad touch. Kicked it straight out of bounds. And I guess even the best players have their moments. We're gonna have plenty of those opportunities today. A good switch of the pitch, but not good enough. Completely missed the man. And a quick turnover on the day. Press, 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 fellas. Boloka, looking to make a move now, and it's not good enough. OC man on the ball. Jesus Fabianski looking for the play. Gotta be a chip. Oh, no. Such a close play, and I mean, the skill to have that and the courage to go for the chip right there is next level. Jesus Fabianski definitely wanted to make a name for himself in this match, and hopefully you guys can hear me over this crowd because they are loud today, super loud. There we go, Baradi. Good touch on the ball, just pushing the man off. Pedersen in the attack now and perfectly turned over. OC men. Good touch now. Look at Jesus Fabianski. Not doing enough there, but he tries to get back in the defensive acumen. Playing his man and gets tossed off. Good touch now when Jesus Fabianski looking to make a play, and he does. He's on the ball still. Slide, slide, slide. Wow, no luck. But I mean, it's just the effort played right now from Jesus Fabianski that's drawing a lot of attention. Beautifully played through ball all the way through, and we gotta make a play. Not good enough, it's the left side, and of course, our keeper is not good enough. Gets beat on the day. Wow. Just completely ran by him. Baradi snaps it with the left boot and he finishes through with the left foot as well. Right past the keeper. And we're gonna have to really get some, some different people in if we wanna keep that defense looking right in the Serie A. We know we have Victor Osimhen and he pretty much is a better shot than I am, that's for sure. But I definitely don't wanna waste this opportunity. Looking for a tackle, and I had to go for what I had to go for. I had to go for it. Hey, I had to go for it. What? Wow, a red card in this match. Not what you want to see, especially from a young player, a red card. I'm thinking maybe a yellow. Definitely was not clean. Definitely a meaty challenge. Nothing I can say about that besides hopefully next match I'll come out here and perform even better. Wow. 
Really though? Wow, and Baradi, look at him. He came right back and got a red card of his own. Okay, we took a one nil defeat in that match. Definitely not what we wanted to see going forward in this season for sure. But I mean, let's take a quick look right now at where the season standings are at. After a match like that, we have to make sure that we are not dropping too many matches. We have a match coming up against Latvium and they are actually ranked number nine with three points. It looks like Milan and Forentina both tied up with two and O on their records six points at the top of the table and we need to make a huge impact of course i would not be able to play this narrow decisive match here against latinium but i mean we have to do what we have to do we have to keep moving forward and just keep getting victories every opportunity that we have all right a match against latium and it is one that i will not be able to play in so i'm gonna sim it real fast after i do these upgrades all right i'm pretty sure i'm just gonna do my sprint speed i want to be as fast as possible on that pitch Make sure we can run away from the defenders, set up crossing opportunities, and look for goals. So hopefully, we'll get a victory in this match. And actually, my backup is better than I am. Polentino. And there it is. He came in and got a goal. Politano. Excuse me. Politano. And I'm pretty sure it was Politano as well. He came in and got the brace for Jesus Fabianski sitting on the bench. Wow. A great performance right there. And I will see everybody in the next match. And here we are. Had to make sure to bring this information to everybody's attention. We are in the Champions League. Yeah. Did not know Napoli finished that well last season. But let me know. Did Napoli win the Serie A? Or was it Inter Milan that won it? Let me know down below in the comment section. I appreciate it. Let's read it though. Napoli FC handed straightforward UEFA Champions League group stage draw. Let's do it. In our group stage, we will have SC Braga. Real Madrid, ooh, big bad Real Madrid, and FC Union Berlin. We're pretty much going through. If we can win one of those matches against Real Madrid, we definitely have the Champions League secured going forward. I feel ready, and hopefully in this next match, we can go out here and get another victory. I'll see everybody when it's time to kick that ball around. We are here live at the Stadion Europa. I'm pretty sure it's what it is. I could be wrong, but it is that time for a match against Genoa. And it is that time, Genoa versus Napoli FC. Hopefully, Jesus Fabianski will score more than one goal today and maybe even get an assist about that time. We'll see though. Thorns be getting started early. Ukban, I mean, that's a good touch right there. And we gone, we long gone. OC men, send me through, send me through. Ah, I gotta play it better than that. Gotta play it much better. Di Lorenzo, good movement now, and let's see what Jesus can do. Good touch, just losing his man. Diving at his boot, but no luck. Osimhen, I see you outside. Good movement, though, good movement. Ah, but not good enough. Good defense, there we go. Jesus, on the run. Osimhen, in the attack, a good push. He might hit me, Nigerian to Nigerian. Quick back heel. Oh, and I try to get just like him, but no luck. Ball moving around the whole pitch and a good touch for Di Lorenzo. Deli Varga. Jesus Fabianski moving around now. And Gisi. And Gisa, that's his name. Gotta get used to that one. And Osiman. Oh, but Martinez with a good save on the day. Making sure not to allow the goal. Good pass now. And look at that. Valverde going to Paris Saint Germain. That is crazy. Could you imagine that? Valverde going to PSG. I mean, that would make Real Madrid's team a lot less dangerous. But what a finish right there by Strootman. Came right up to the net and hit it near post. Wow. It was just a defensive breakdown. And once again, our keeper can't make any plays in that box. If the ball gets within that six yard box, you can call it over for us. A quick touch. And we tried to have some defensive effort coming over from number three, but no luck. Nathan just gets there too late. And of course, the keeper not doing nothing on the day. Of course, it's a mismatch. Great interception. Jesus moves it up. Williams Jr., a good touch. Osim Hen, all the way up, all the way up, fellas. Looking for the shot. What a deflection. Osim Hen, get there, get that play. Our ball, our ball, our ball. Gotta be. Hopefully it is, and it is. I'm looking for a shot, but I'm really looking for a pass to Victor Osim Hen. He plays the ball in. Challenging. I don't even know why he played it like that. What? Crazy. That was a crazy call. And a good touch by Di Lorenzo. Now looking for an attack. Osimhen. Need it. Oh, but no luck. 
Just gets the ball snatched, but Williams, oh no! Back and forth in that Genoa match, Napoli FC. We could not get the victory today, I apologize. I was looking for a lot in this match, and it just did not come to us today. Hopefully in our next episode, we will win that first Champions League matchup. And finally, it's a bit quieter, so maybe you guys can hear me a bit better. We will be playing that Champions League match next episode. So hopefully everybody did enjoy, and I'll see everybody back at the main menu. Another great episode in the books. This was episode two, and if you did enjoy, all right, everybody, let's take a quick look at these stats to wrap this episode up. So far, we're looking at Fabianski with one goal in three appearances. Politano, he, he came on in that match and went crazy. Two goals for him, and everybody else pretty much is absolutely non-existent. Traore, two assists, and Zelensky with one assist. I'm feeling good though about this next episode. It is the Champions League and it will be a matchup against SC Braga. I'll see everybody when it's that time. Peace out. Stay safe, everybody. Until next time.